Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Swan Song campaign. This is a consecutive deployment of our Flashpoint. It's joint venture part two. After we have found the intel, we now need to defend a base. House Liu is moving fast, very fast uh, to our mech base. And we, of course, cannot let that happen. So we deploy with three of our mechs plus one of uh, the um, pilots that our um, investor has given us. Matchstick being that guy. And I very much remember uh, defending up here. Really this is going great. to be fun. If I remember correctly, we had like enemies coming from here and here. Five buildings must survive and we need to hold up for out for reinforcements. So we got the Hatchman, which is really the new mech that I was talking about. And you can see melee damage 110, uh, which is his way of saying hello and we also got a jump option for death from above uh, to yeah, attack the enemy with both of our legs for 110 damage. So that's fantastic. Sure footing as well as bulwark. The headshot man will tank for us and it is a bit light on armor, which is typically the issue of uh, that mech, but it is incredibly fast. So if my, again, if my memory serves me well, we wanted to fight down here. And Take yeah, that's blitz. where the enemy is at. I'm trying. So um, our long-range missiles will be fantastic in this mission here. And just absolutely great. I'm trying to On sort of way. keep that high ground up here. Mainly because it allows us On to also move. oversee the other side. Because I distinctly remember that enemies were coming up from here. For now, let's just wait for them to come closer. And you can already see if we're not engaging, they will start to hit the buildings. And that'll be Waiting for orders. very much not what we want. Okay, so moving up let's with the hatchet men, let him tank. Shortly seen that there is <clears throat> another mech here. Hatchet Man is not particularly good in uh, in hitting with the AC-10, specifically since that Jenner here has tons and tons of um, of evasion. But the AC-10 hit and the arm is gone. Fantastic. Standing by. Good. Bradford could move up here with a hunchback. I like that. There's also a griffin. Let's give him vigilance. That way, 40% damage reduction. I am okay with not hitting all of uh, those shots here. General took a good hit. Yeah. That's fine. So. Centurion moves up, multi-target, we want to hit the Griffin, but we also want to hit at least one shot just to get that Jenner, um, get the evasion blips off of the Jenner. That's some solid damage on the Griffin. And Jenner is soon getting hit. 50%, 45%, I think this here is the best we can do for now. And let's just continue going completely for the Jenner. Pilot is injured, Jenner has taken some Severe damage and will now be able to move. Watch the flank. Yes, Commander. Oh, 
Okay, so Hunchback. I want to still somewhat r remain on the high ground here. Let's move to here. Continue our vigilance. I think that 40% damage reduction is too good to pass it. And we're just fully unloading, hopefully killing the general. <laughs> that is a disco mech. Pilot incapacitated. Just too many laser shots. Hunchback is still tanking, and that's exactly what the guy is supposed to do. Griffin has a harder time. Has a harder time to actually um, gain evasion stacks, which is perfect for us. We can use that to our advantage, fully unload on him. They are moving upwards the hill. Whilst we are moving downwards. A lateral move to here wouldn't be too bad. Not optimal because we have lost our 40% damage reduction. But like I mentioned, I want to keep the high ground here. You. All right, time for some melee attack. That's what the hatchet Location has been built for. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, fantastic. Reporting critical hit. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Okay, well, this time they landed somewhere completely different. How can we... Alright. Slightly moving back with the hunchback. Still keeping a good defense. And let's I hope that this kills the Griffin. Okay, perfect. Target eliminated. A friendly structure has been destroyed. That is a problem. We gotta deal with the hunchback down here. Ready for order. Centurion moves back. Position confirmed. And let's assess the targets. Kitaro loaded with SRMs. TPC, LRM, Trebuchet, also double LRM. That is not good. But the guys. Oh, wow. That Kitaro here is by far the worst offender. Let's reduce his initiative, and this might even be a kill. Locked up. Enemies are coming in. How's it going? Hatchet man jumps down. Hunchback right in the back. Fire in a full salvo. AC Solid twenty is gone. Got a lock on me. Griffin moves up, hopefully is going to tank quite a bit. 
this guy has no more weapons left so we're going to leave him be for now and instead let's go and hit the trebuchet two LRM 15s those are nasty Oh, they are going for the buildings. And for the hatchet man who has just lost all of its They've back armor. My armor. And even more LRMs. You've gotta take away their sight. Got something you want done? That's not good enough. Could move to over here. And let's try to hit the trebuchet. Straight uh, shots have even reduced some more of. Uh, some more of their um, evasion blips. Hunchback is now in a direct fight with the hatchet man. Yes, Commander. Gotta be a bit mindful about that. How about we're hopping over to here? That'll Our present weapon. the front. And hopefully we can hit the guy well. Got it. Well, still not a kill. I was hoping that the AC-10 hits bullseye at center and maybe takes out. Receiving you. Ah, uh, takes him out. All right, Centurion. What would be a smart move? Certainly not to expose ourselves to these guys. We could do a multi-shot. I think that's the right call. Move order Moving a tiny bit back, multi-shot starting here. And then essentially having only one of uh, these lasers shoot the griffin just to take away his last evasion blip and if that guy doesn't move if that guy doesn't move we should be fine the trebuchet now looks badly injured taro is out Let's... Let's just double check. Griffin still has the PPC and LRMs. That's an LRM 15 still alive. So we somewhat need to deal with. We somewhat need to deal with that guy. Could theoretically move further back. I think the right call here is to move further forward. That'll open us up to a melee attack from the Kitaro. Standing here won't be better, though. Another option is to go to here. Not perfect but at least three movement blips and all of these guys would have no one to attack, which I think is the right call. The only thing that is unclear now is, is it better to try to go for this griffin here or shall we just finish the trebuchet?
I think we're going for the trebuchet. LRM 15s are still a pain in the rear. Didn't uh, fully kill the guy. All right, hatchet man takes some more damage. That's okay, cool. Yep, so far we're fine. That medium building is still standing strong. We gotta let five of them survive. Ready to get it on. Hunchback could move to here. And basically deal with that. Acknowledged. Basically deal with that Griffin. Got a hunchback behind him. Let's try to get one shoulder off. Didn't fully work, but we reduced his initiative. All right, we're Gyro's pretty failing. injured. I'm going down. That knockdown, that knockdown means uh, Matchstick will have problems going forward. Commander. We lost quite a bit of armor. Luckily, it's not our mech. That doesn't mean I'm not caring. It just means it could be worse. Doubling down on that whole griffin idea here. Let's get the guy down. Good to go. Location confirmed. All right, let's start with the Griffin. And three more shots on the Kitaro. I got him. But Kitaro is just moving up at this point. Right, Hatchet Man Good to go. has the problem. Back in action. All right. The right arm is still good. Let's start hitting that guy. Unfortunately, the third shot in a row uh, that missed. Mech warriors, show them what you got. Okay, Receiving. they are coming surprisingly close. Hatchet men confirms vigilance and let's move down and melee attack there we go both of them always attack one another into the rear hatchet man still has quite a bit of armor left over before it would go down i'm not sure if the mission is lost if matchstick dies not not sure Roger 
Roger that. How many hit points? 72 left over. Okay. Let's go for it. Let's try to kill this guy. Copy that. Solid connection on that one. Wow. He must be at one hit point on this each of the locations. On. One hit point. Unreal. Just unreal. But we can get that guy. Let's focus on Kitaro at, at the on the Kitaro at the moment. Not quite. Something I can do. All right, starting with this and that, and hopefully. The griffin will finally go down. There we go. Edge men still standing strong thanks to the 40% reduction. Alright, now the guitar needs to die. All right, moving up. Still defensive, and let's kill the guy. All right, Hawkbite attacks back. This will give us some much needed heat back. Finally, the Kitaro goes down. Enemy mech destroyed. Didn't really do much. Uh, the guy had one melee attack, and that's about it. Now, it's just a matter of killing the trebuchet. Receiving you. Let's pre precision strike to make sure that. A, we deal the most amount of damage, and B, e, we might even delay his action. Okay, almost got it. Waiting for orders. Consider it done. Centurion moves in. And hopefully this will completely kill it. There we go, good. So one more lance down. I think all, all aspects considered, we're doing fine. These guys are still moving up. Gotta hold out for two more rounds, right? Which of course is easier said than done. They are now attacking the large building. Standing by. So we got like what? The right arm? Something along the line. So this here is okay. Again, vigilance. And let's hit the Vindicator first. Alright, some solid hits. Hunchback sprints up. Just to running. gain some more uh, heat back. That's good. Up, Commander? All 
All right. I would decide to sprint over here. All on air. That regains some in uh, some much needed heat. And the Griffin moves in. Hopefully teaching that Vindicator a valuable lesson. Very good, right arm's gone. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Large building still intact, but I think from the buildings we're doing fine. I would say the hatchet man we can delay one more round. Plenty of stacks. Well, that doesn't do you any good uh, when you're being melee attacked. Good job from the Vindicator and pretty lucky that he immediately has hit. Such is the life of a mech warrior. Waiting for orders. Receiving you. Roger. All right. Vigilance for 60% uh, reduction. And then we're going all in into that Vindicator's rear arc. Rear arc. Holy shit. Inflicted some heavy damage. Receiving you. Lots of LRMs. What do we have here? Another Enforcer, AC-10, that stinks. Let's do the following. We're just trying to um, remove a couple of evasion blips here and I want to kill that. Galeon Urban Assault Vehicle. Okay, that worked well. Just out of curiosity, still got a medium laser. Good. Griffin, 40% damage reduction. I would say this here is just a small exercise to lose heat and kill the Vindicator. There we go. Ooh, fantastic. We don't even need to... Um, finish the standoff. Unfortunately, we lost a good pilot. That sucks. Killed in action. Matchstick. You will not be forgotten. We can get a griffin together. I'll definitely take that any day of the week. Trebuchet wouldn't be bad either, but I think the Griffin here is actually better. <clears throat> AC10++. Oh, okay, well. Let's hope we'll get some of the++ plus plus stuff. 
Yeah. Not happening. Okay. I'm not sure if you normally would get the hatchet man at the end of the run. I've never lost the guy. But wow, boy, boy, was that lamentable. I, I was standing there 40% um, reduction, six um, evasion blips. And I was like, yeah, I don't think that I need to move him. Next thing you know, enemy runs up, punches you directly in the torso. Okay, I think we're going to store the fire starter for now. And we're essentially getting more and more to that mid game <clears throat> loadout. Fire starter is good, but the Griffin is better. All right, a couple of uncommon items it was a fast flashpoint. An armor mod, uh, an arm mod with massive stability damage. That's okay. A comm system that's very good. I like it. A PPC plus could make a sniper out of it. Two PPCs actually, so maybe not too bad. We got a laser with more uh, damage. That's great. Got another laser with more damage, so it's great. A few fire starter items and some more LRMs. So the payout is actually quite good. A lot of lost tech weapons. So if we look at the contracts here, we still got a few to go, right? But before we engage with that, Let's take a look at our max because we got a griffin here. And we got a griffin here. One is an LRM boat. Might as well make the uh, next one. We might as well make a more short ranged uh, fighter. Exactly the same kind of uh, mech. And if we play our cards right, we could go together with the Centurion, Hunchback and two Griffins. That would be a really strong Lance. So what's the idea here with the Griffin? Let's take a look what we can do. First, let's maximize the armor, and we got 15 tons to work with. Okay, cool. Good. So, in terms of weapons, we definitely could go kind of with that SRM spam. And get a little bit of SRM ammunition. Yeah, the PPCs would be too heavy. I mean, we could make it a sniper, but a really risky one. Um, if the guy is ever being hit here um, in the arm, that wouldn't look too too good. So potentially just going with medium lasers and some support lasers. Now, the real kicker here is, let's get the comm systems up, that's good. The real kicker here is our heat efficiency is absolutely garbage. However, with 250 uh, damage right into your face, you can make a large, large alpha strike with it. The arm mods wouldn't really matter for him.
that's more for other mechs to deal with it. From a heat efficiency standpoint, to be honest, we should at least compensate 40 so that we're not running a complete deficit. Which then again brings us to what, 200 um, striking power? That's not bad. Overall, all things considered, that it's actually not bad. We unfortunately don't have SRM pluses, otherwise we could uh, build it into the into the model here. Could go with one. MG instead of this, but I think the MG also weighs half a ton. Yeah, MG plus half ammunition <coughs> would give us a bit more weight, but much better heat. But then again, it's just one support weapon, so it's really not the end of the world. Three lasers, two SRMs. <clears throat> Is that really what we what we want to run? We could run three SRMs, but we would get pretty hot. Like this Alpha Strike here, two twenty. Not bad. Problem is that these here are not upgraded. And the other problem with that build is as soon as we're running out of SRMs, like we have what? 200 rounds, that's 18 per, so we're looking at 11, 12 shots and then he's gone. That is two packs, but not more than that. So we would struggle a bit with uh, staying in the fight for longer. What if we were to go for the PPCs? Is this really a platform where we can realize the whole sniping thing? The Griffin is usually great because it has a lot of uh, missile hard points. Unfortunately, you need upgraded missiles in order to make them <clears throat> really worth your while. We could, of course, go and put two LRMs in here, but that would probably be suboptimal. The Griffin also has a sizable engine to actually be fast which sort of promotes him being more of a close-ranged fighter than anything else. Let's give him that one laser plus here. And stick very close to the absolute tonnage maximum. Let's check the store. Is there a half SRM half ammunition? No. I mean, what you could do is do something like that but then the damage is lacking. There is a substantial damage from the SRMs that is undeniable and having 200, 200 firepower is great. It is absolutely fantastic. How's the heat looking? 40 over 60 and six of that is not even regularly in play due to the short laser, uh, short laser not, being <clears throat> not being that relevant. So. I think three lasers, two SRM6s is a happy medium here. 
Now we just got to strip off a bit of armor. Not much as you have seen that we really don't want to lose any of uh, the center pieces. Maybe a tiny bit on the legs and that's about it. Okay, that overall looks like a really good system. Uh, Com system uh, plus also means two additional resolve. If we use both of the Griffins, that should give us plenty of resolve. And 30 days isn't all too bad for the setup. So I feel comfortable uh, with the setup. It's a good one. We also right. al almost I'll got five it. millions in terms of funds. That's fantastic. One last look at our barracks. Luckily, no one of our mech warriors died. That would suck. We're improving our to hit. We don't need indirect fire at this point. Let's go for more to hit on Hogbite. Bradford did a fantastic job. And I think Bradford and Hogbite could be really similarly skilled. So let's mirror both of them and make it an ace pilot build. So he'll get some extra stability here. Um, Training complete. Commander? Lily didn't get Commander. anything yet. Mox could. You know, Mox on the other hand uh, sits in the missile boat. So we really want um, to also improve tactics. Tactics is the skill that allows you to have less indirect fire penalty and also better Back engagement in close range. So it's good. Ready to rock. Reaper and Tigan would be ready. Yes, so Commander. let's go with Reaper for a second. Uh, we certainly don't have anyone with tactics yet. And I was like, yeah, let's go for a sensor lock and then maybe bulwark. That wouldn't be bad. You could also go sensor lock and multi shot um, as an option. And then essentially go for that master technician here to gain that plus one initiative and be kind of the scout of, um, of the whole group. That's fine. Just from a, uh, pers uh, from a skill perspective, breaching shot, in my opinion, not super hot. Uh, multi target is good. Uh, the sure footing is okay, not phenomenal, but the AS pilot is really good, so that's great. One of the best skills, Bulwark, in my perspective, is just absolutely fantastic. The cool, uh, coolant uh, vent is okay, specifically if you're going to sit in a laser uh, in a laser boat. So uh, maybe, uh, not, not maybe, Mox is going to go for, uh, for that. So. Having Mox and maybe Lily to go for multi-shot and, um, and Reaper. Good to go. Reaper and Tigan could go for that extra initiative. Plus either multi-shot or uh, Bulwark build. Bulwark, I tend to almost splice that into everything because it's a passive 20% reduction to any damage that you get. I find myself uh, using woods and cover very often. Um, it's just a yeah, fantastic additional option. So maybe we're going that build here, plus initiative, sensor lock, that's fine. Multishot is surprisingly useful in the mid game. It drops off a little bit later because you don't need to do it that often. But for your snipers and, and, the, and specifically for builds that have multiple engagement ranges, like the one that Mox is currently running with medium lasers and long range, it tends to be quite good. So how about Lily and Mox have the same build and Reaper here uh, goes for that sensor lock build. Um, sensor lock plus bulwark. Uh, that means, however, I will still start with bulwark because, yeah. Training confirmed. It's just so good. Might as well do the same here. Training complete. Okay. There is no downside in taking it. 
And that brings us uh, to the end of today's session as we are going to do some more pirate work uh, next. There is, by the way, a fantastic four and a half um, school mission that I will not take because why would I um, do that mission and ruin my reputa uh, reputation? So we're, no, we're not going to do that. But we do have unexpected guests here and we do have blood food as uh, the other one. Unfortunately, uh, we have pretty much alienated ourselves with the Capellian Federation. So time to get some pi uh, pirate reputation back. By the way, could also do the run for reputation purpose only uh, not maybe not the worst idea because we've been struggling to get that one up 24 salvage mm. i think we're going to go for the salvage anyways we're going to see about that the next time thank you for watching guys i appreciate your viewership if you Hit the like and leave a comment. I would appreciate that even more and see you all next time. Bye bye.